have uh, with us uh, Dr. Uh, Pasik Karhalainen, who works in Pori, in Finland, and he's, he's a well-known cardiologist, interventional cardiologist, uh, clearly uh, and deeply involved in the research, and we have uh, we will have uh, no, enough uh, answer. So related with the interventional cardiologists and mainly with some type of stem, uh, quite different to the drug eluting stem. Uh, Dr. Karhalainen, thank you very much to come here in Spain. It's not the first time that you come here. Thank you. No, no, it's uh, not the first time, so many times here. It's a, it's a pleasure. Dr. Karhalainen has been involved in many trials with uh, many all of this or main of the of those studies is related with the use of the a new stem uh, bio inert stem that is very competitive in comparison with the drug eluting stem he has been involved in the tic tax uh, trial in the base acute coronary syndrome or even in trial that use the oct in order to check how is the endothelialization of uh, the new generation stents. So, uh, according to your experience, uh, Dr. Karhalainen, uh, which is the design and the objectives of, the, of these studies that you have been involved in, mainly the, the, the TIDES acute coronary syndrome, and what is the rationality to use this type of stent in, the, in this uh, setting? Yes. Uh... Uh, now we have conducted TIDES ACS trial. This is, uh, in my mind, very important trial. Uh, earlier we have done, as you mentioned, the Titaxami trial comparing Titan against Taxus. We showed that Titan is superior in long-term follow-up. Then we compared Titan against Science V in base ACS trial. And Titan was as good as uh, Science V at one year follow-up. And now there is a new a STEM platform, uh, and that's why we wanted to do a new new study called TITES ACS. So uh, here we compare Titan Optimax against, uh, in my mind, probably the best uh, drug eluting stent nowadays, Synergy from Boston Scientific. And uh, study design was a non inferiority trial. We randomized 1500 patients, two to one, Titan Optimax uh, versus uh, Synergy stent. And uh, this is a typical stent trial. The, the primary endpoint is, is maize at one year, including uh, cardiac death, uh, myocardial infarction, and restenosis, target lesion revascularization. So this was the idea of doing this study. The, the Titan extent has been evolved and has been modified, and the new platform is uh, quite well that uh, the platform that uh, was uh, delivered before. Uh, do you think that this new platform may promote better result in the setting of the acute, my, acute coronary syndrome patients? Yes, I think so. Uh, now uh, the, the device is, is, is a coupled chromium platform, so the strut thickness is thinner. Yeah. And of course we all know that uh, probably if you have uh, thinner struts, uh, the results are better. And, uh, also, the coating, uh, titanium nitrate oxide coating, is, is much more thicker. So I believe that there is a faster healing at the side of the stent implantation now. So certainly, I believe that uh, these improvements uh, also improve the clinical outcome, short and long-term follow-up. You think this new platform for the titan is very competitive in comparison with the new generation of or this last generation of stem? Stem? Well, this is an interesting question. Uh, of course, uh, if you look at the uh, TICE ACS results, it, it, it looks very promising. So, so, at one year, the results are, are comparable against uh, probably the best uh, drug eluting device uh, in the market nowadays. And, and, and I really hope to see long term follow up. So, so, this is really interesting. And what was the, the main finding, the main conclusion of the of the TIDES acute coronary syndrome trial? So the actually the this study was uh, presented in ESC meeting in Barcelona this year. Mm -hmm. This was a, a late breaking trial in the ESC meeting. So this was a, a very big presentation for us. Uh, 
in, in this presentation, of course, the one year non inferiority was met. What was surprising was that uh, the, the outcome event in both arms uh, were quite low, around 7%. So, so now, now the treatment for ACS is, uh, has been improved. I mean, the medical treatment and also the device treatment. So, so MACE was comparable one year after the uh, stent implantation. What was also interesting was that, uh, that the heart endpoints, heart clinical endpoints, cardiac death and MI, they were actually significantly lower in the Titan Optimax arm compared to Synergy. You know that uh, nowadays one of the most uh, uh, interesting uh, discussion is uh, how long the patient should take the dual antiplatelet therapy. And this type of stem probably uh, permit to shorten the uh, duration of the antiplatelet therapy in this type of, of patient. And it could be better because there is a significant number of patients in the group of high risk for bleeding. So do you think that uh, this system might promote and use in this type of population? Yes, yes, this is also a very, very good comment. Uh, of course, if you look at the MI patients, acute coronary syndrome patients, uh, the, the healing of the, of the lesion is, is delayed. And if you have a device that, that really uh, heal fast, then you can probably shorten the duration of the DAPT. And also, uh, if you have a patient, for instance, with the oral anticoagulant or uh, risk of bleeding, the patient is old, then this kind of device is also very useful in our practice. In, in, in this setting, or in this uh, scenario, uh, what, what do you think that this new uh, stand, this new platform, uh, will modify or will uh, uh, promote an uh, improvement in our daily practice uh, or how uh, beneficial should be in the, in the daily practice uh, uh, with the patient that nowadays treat uh, day a day? Yes. Uh, actually, in my practice, it has changed a lot. Uh, yeah. Uh, if, if we look at the guidelines, uh, we can see that uh, if, if, if there is an ACS patient, we don't have any studies, for instance, in non st elevation MI group. We don't have any stent comparison. We have only few trials in the, in the STEMI situation. So now we have some evidence that uh, uh, Titan is, is very good also uh, in non st elevation MI. So basically nowadays in our CAT lab, for instance, uh, we have 50 to 60 percent of patients with ACS, and we are using uh, quite often uh, Titan Optimax in these uh, situations. When we uh, take a look of the result from the randomized trials, uh, we try to use the result to apply for the whole population. But uh, probably the result of the randomized trial only reflects the 10 percent or the 15 percent that the, of the patient that we treat every day in this sense the registries in my opinion reflects more properly the real situation of the patient that we treat and do you think that uh, the value of the registry should be more emphasized in comparison with the with the randomized trial the yeah, registries are very good but uh, if you want to make some con conclusions out of out from the registries we need a lot of patients, a very big number of uh, patients. And, and, and uh, nevertheless, uh, in a way, I, I believe randomized trial, if you are, if you are conducting these things properly, uh, also in the randomized trials, you need a, a quite big amount of patients. But uh, for, for me and for us, for instance, in our center, when we follow our, all of our patients in our registry, we really know what happens to our patients. So, so in, this, uh, with, in this sense, the registries are very important. Okay, thank you very much. Welcome here in Madrid and welcome to participate in the CSC 2017 course. Thank okay, you. Thank you. It's a pleasure.